Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about a few buys, a few recent buys, and somewhat of an impression, sort of first impressions review video. Um, I wouldn't say it's first impressions because I had a minute to use these products, however I still of course reserve the right to sort of have another opinion eventually because things do change, as skin changes, season changes, etc, 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 so many factors just awaiting to change the results of uh, wear tests. So let's start with a recent purchase. I'm into contouring, not really. <laughs> I'm not really into contouring normally, but I want to be, which is why I've gotten this little guy. Um, I am a fan of sort of seamless, minimal makeup. I don't want to go insane with my makeup. I'm not an Instagram makeup kind of girl. I don't do the super brows. I don't do the like super heavy coverage. I prefer everything to look reasonably natural of course you can tell I'm wearing makeup but it's not a mask it's sort of it's not flawless you know I don't mind having imperfections I just want to look better than I am normally um, so in my attempt to learn and practice contouring I've realized something um, I don't love heavy makeup and in fact I really prefer contouring with very minimal makeup I think it looks so chic. I think it's really sort of um, flattering. I have a powder contour uh, from MAC. It's called Harmony. It works really well for my skin tone. It's very ashy. And I wanted to try something new, hence why I bought this Becca Low Light Sculpting Perfector. Um, it's a cream product. There's only 8 grams in here. And it's truly a really, really nice product to work with, actually. It's not really patchy when I blend it. Maybe it'll, I'll try it with different foundations and report back with the one that I tried it with so far. I haven't had any issues with blending. Um, it can be built up, it can be sheared out. The tone of this product is kind of a little bit even on the gray-green side almost. Uh, it looks surprisingly natural. Uh, when you blend it out, of course, it's much less pigmented than that when you do. Um, this is the kind of shade we're talking about here. And if I give you a little bit of a swatch, this is the kind of shade we're talking about. Blends nicely and seamlessly. It does create the shaded look, like you can see here, I've blended one out and it sets pretty well. It lasts quite long. Um, easy product quite an easy product to contour with if you're not looking for like you know razor sharp cheekbones or anything if you're looking for something a little bit more natural i would go with a cream um i got a bronzer because i love bronzers um it's a pale girl's best friend i wanted something quite natural what i went with is stone street this is number 16 from bobby brown this is the kind of tone i've come to sort of realize looks best on my skin tone for a bronzer and it is this uh, sort of kind of light bronzer but with a peachy slash red undertone you can't really tell uh, in this light but this bronzer is slightly slightly red toned i'll do a heavy swatch so you can see the tone of it on my finger so this red tone um, creates a more natural kind of look uh, for, for my skin tone at least, where it looks sun-kissed because when sun hits our skin, naturally it'll irritate it and make it a bit red, which is what this kind of a bronzer mimics really. Here, I've uh, sort of blended a little bit of it on my hand and you can see that it is ever so, it's not really orange, it's like ever so slightly red undertoned. It blends very nicely. Bobbi Brown bronzers are just so pleasant to use because they are very finely milled, very silky, and nicely pressed. So it's not like a very loose bronzer that just falls apart on you. You can use a little bit of it on a brush and you can shear it out very easily. Although it looks a little bit dark for my skin tone, it actually is not at all. Given that it's number 16, weird. Um, I like the packaging. It's very nice, classic Chanel-esque packaging. Very enjoyable. Another product from Bobbi Brown that I got, mm, I'm not so sure I can recommend. This is a Bobbi Brown Brightening Brick in Pastel Peach. And she has a whole line of these brightening bricks. Not to be confused with shimmering bricks, which I did own a few of and I subsequently gave away because I just wasn't down with the shimmer. It was not fine enough for me. I like really, really fine shimmer. 
and my sort of bronzers, highlighters, and all kinds of face products. I want it to be tiny. And uh, the shimmering bricks, they weren't really that finely milled, as finely milled as I really like them. So I had a rose quartz, I think, and I have a bronzy one. And both of those I gave away. Um, this one I thought was different. This is really a finishing powder. It's called the uh, Powder Illuminator. <laughs> and the, the color really sold me. I loved the color. This pastel peach, and she has a whole line of those, is really pretty um, in the pan. On the face, it doesn't really look like much. I do enjoy setting my under eyes with it. I think it looks quite flattering. If I concentrate my brush on this peachy shade, I can get a slight, slight hint of peach on my cheeks, and that can act as a blush. Um, can't really highlight with it. Um, it's really sort of very, you see, that's where it is. You can hardly see it on a swatch. I mean, it's it's a setting powder basically for me. I don't think it, it's all that special. You only get 6.6 um, .6 grams of product. So it's not a very large powder. This particular shade doesn't really show up on me and I have very light skin tone, so it should show up probably, you know. Um, it doesn't really do much, so. I would say save your pennies on that one. It's, in my opinion, not worth it. That's the pastel one. I haven't tried any other of these bricks, these particular ones, the brightening bricks. Uh, it does have a little bit of a brightening effect, but it's really not color correcting. It's really not very illuminating. It's not smoothing. It's not anything in particular, basically. It's very basic powder. The last product I can really, really recommend. I'm kind of sort of toying with the idea that this might be my new favorite concealer. And I love... Uh, concealers in general. I usually use them under my eyes. Um, this is a multitasker galore sort of product. This is a Guerlain multi-perfecting concealer hydrating blurring effect. I can test it that it blurs. Um, it blurs, goes over pores, glides on, doesn't flake off, does not highlight any of the flaking of the dry skin patches that I get. It does not really crease even under eyes. It's very very minimal. Um, no need to set it if you don't want to, but I do anyway because I, I wear my makeup for very long hours. Um, I was very, very impressed. This one really like takes the cake for the kind of things that I'm looking for in a concealer. In color 01, by the way, it's called Light Warm. Um, their range of colors is not great. It's okay. Um, I think that this guy is really... If you're looking for a multitasking concealer, I really like the Clarins Instant Concealer. That one's really good. But I think this one is just like a no nosing it out, just ever so slightly. Um, it's so, so good. It stays put, um, it sets. It's not drying and not clumpy. It doesn't look like anything on skin except skin. It just corrects what you want it to correct. You can do blemishes with it. You can do under eyes with it. You can use it as a, a base for your eyeshadows. You can use it as a blank out for your lips. Really, actually, the texture of this works with everything. It's quite creamy. It's not runny. Um, it's not moussey. It's just, it's just like medium everything and it works really, really well. And I do like that it sets. Um, that's very important for a concealer for me. Although I still set it with powder in the end, the longevity is just greatly improved by the fact that it sets. Uh, usually concealers that set will under, underline sort of fine lines, texture and uh, dryness. This one doesn't do that. So, um, I'm hesitant to say it is my new favorite, but it is really like making its way to be probably, possibly my new favorite. I'll update you how it sits on different foundations and underneath the different products. Um, but for now, I'm really, really impressed. It's very nice. Thank you, Guerlain, for coming up with such a good product. That's it for today. I hope you have a good evening. See you later. Bye-bye.